foremost on behalf of grade 8 graduating class of St. Edward School, I would like to take this opportunity to give back all the praises and glory to our Almighty God for all His love, protection, and providing us people who serve as an instrument to reach another important stage in our lives. To start with, our beloved principal, Ms. Pratty, our vice principal, Ms. Flagger, office coordinator, Ms. Biker, our hardworking teachers, members of administration and support staff, our dear parents, family, friends, and fellow graduates. A pleasant and blessed evening ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, as we hear the sound of crime, I would like to remind each one of you that you are part of this journey. You are the instrument of the beginning of our future. And with that being said, thank you for all your support and for believing in our abilities and capabilities. <laughs> My fellow graduates, as we bid farewell to elementary school, we shouldn't forget those people who guided us in our chase for proficiency and the best for our future. Indeed, we owe a lot of gratitude. No amount of words can fully express how much we appreciate what they have done for us. Elementary education is just one step to the ladder of success. We have more perseverance, challenges, and hard work to do to achieve our dreams. What is important for now, we were on the right path, and we are about to begin another chapter of our business. Fellow graduates, congratulations, and most especially to our mentor, mentors for successfully guiding us to achieve this point. Let us give a round of applause for ourselves and our mentors. I came here in Canada three years ago. I was a bit impressed of what kind of elementary education I will have here. Probably because I will be meeting new people, learning new homes, and will be immersed with a new culture. I was agitated about balanced student life because I knew myself that I'm a great conscious student. I love challenges and value the power of learning, at the same time enjoying the society. Well, I can testify that I didn't fail to experience a well-balanced quality education here. I can honestly say that St. Edward Elementary School, through our dedicated and zealous teachers, very supported and committed administration, led by our principal and devoted support staff, they all work together for us students, nurtured with faith, powered with academic experience, and inspired us. As they open our minds and hearts to be the best students that we can be, to be ready enough to face the challenges of life. Thank you, Mrs. Bradley, for being the principal of our school, ensuring that we are guided with three core educational beliefs, which are faith, student learning, and engagement. To the rest of administration and support staff, the students who let us feel that St. Edward is our second home. To all our teachers who be considered as our second parents, Thank you for giving us the gift of literacy, for ensuring that we will be at our best, both in academics and extracurricular activities, allowing us to enhance our computational and scientific skills, and also providing us important real-life lessons. Special thanks to our class advisor, Mr. Ricardo, Mr. Gisil, and Ms. Teresa, who are always there to support us and prepare us for upcoming high school life. To our parents, mom, dad, grandparents, hello to Arizona back home, thank you is not enough for how grateful we are for your unconditional support all throughout these years for all your love, prayers, and your service that reminded us of your and our bright To our entire family and friends who walked along with us through ups and downs, thank you so much for your support by side. Finally, fellow graduates, we can be thankful for each other for that camaraderie, friendship, Sport and encouragement. I would like to end with one of my favorite inspirational quotes from Argentina, who was the best and most influential Formula One driver of all time. He quoted, On a given day, a given circumstance, you think you have a limit. You no. And you touch this limit, and you think, Okay, this is the limit. Something happens, and you suddenly can go a little bit further. With your mind power, with determination, your instinct and the experience as well can fly very high. Once again, thank you and congratulations, fellow graduates. Congratulations, parents, and for 
Christ our dear Mistress. May God bless us all.